What is going on guys? Evo here and we are back with some more arc on the map Cabalus. I hope everyone is having a great day. So this episode we are going to be heading out into the world and taming up some tech creatures. Hopefully tech parasaurs. I feel like that's going to be our best bet. And then we're going to be coming back to the base and making an auto tech farm because I want to get my hands on those amazing resources, especially the electronics. And you'll notice behind me that there is a brand new structure, and that is because we have finally finished our home. So don't worry, that video is going to be coming very soon. Also, apparently somebody's giving me a silencer for the fabricated sniper. I'm not sure who that was. Can we see who's crafted this? Is that possible? No, it does not say whatsoever. Okay, well, that's cool. We got a little silencer on here now. Now we can make a little pew pew noises. Let me just make sure I've got everything we need before we head out. We've got our tranks, we've got food and water, and we should probably grab some kibble. I think we're just going to need regular kibble. We've got lots of that. Beautiful. And I've actually recrafted my long neck rifle here just to see if we could get a better percentage. And we ended up with a 37% bonus this time, which is beautiful. So we got about an extra 10% in damage. And we've also named the crows and the cat from last episode. So thank you guys for all the name suggestions. I really do appreciate it. So for the male crow, we went with the name Hujin, which means thought in Old Norse. And for female, we went with the name Moonin, which means memory in Old Norse. And apparently they were a pair of ravens that flew all over the world and brought information to the god Odin. I love Norse mythology, so these names were a no-brainer. And for the cat, we've got Pizza, which is a, a great name for a cat. And of course, Syntac has put one of those hats on. Because why not? Syntax likes to do strange things like that. Okay, so let's see if we can find what we need here. We're not looking for anything special. No high levels. Just tech parasaurs, a male and female. That's all we need. What level is this, Rex? Are you going to be intimidating? Oh, you're very intimidating. You're a 174. Never mind. We're running away from that. There's no way we can take that on. Ooh, I see a tech parasaur right in front of us. Are you going to be amazing? 36. No, you're not amazing, but you know what? You don't need to be amazing. Let's just trank you in the face. One dart. Okay, that didn't really take much. And we'll just throw a kibble in you, and you'll be up in a moment. Probably don't need that much kibble, if I'm being honest. Maybe two. We'll do two. Yeah, it definitely needed two kibble. It did 95% with one. So freaking close to only needing one kibble, but I'm glad we put the second one in there. And there we go. We've got our first Parasaur tamed up, ready to start producing. Now we just need to find a female. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, we've got some treasure here. Okay. What do you got? Anything amazing? An Ascendant Wooden Club Blueprint. Okay, that's kind of funny. Mastercraft Wooden Club. An Ascendant Pteranodon Saddle. That's actually not bad. And a Ramshackle Procoptodon Saddle Blueprint. Oh, we got a female tech parasaur, level 28. That's exactly what we want. That alpha rex is close by, and that's a little scary, but hopefully we don't have any trouble. We're just going to pop you in the head, and nothing's going to happen. Okay. Let's try that again. Pop you in the head. And you're going to go out. Beautiful. Wasn't really the head. It was more the neck the second time, but I'm not going to worry about it. Throw two kibble on you. And there we go. We've got the second tech parasaur. That was really quick. I feel like we've achieved what we wanted super easily. Definitely a fan of that. Okay, so I think we're going to build this right next to the polymer farm. And I'm thinking we just go off of you so we can have a perfect lineup. And we'll just go all the way till there, maybe. And then we'll do this. And then bring you back in. And now we're going to get some walls going. We're going to go up maybe too high. Yeah, let's do too high. I feel like that'll be enough. Just go all the way up. We're going to need to actually make some more walls. Didn't even think about that. So all the walls are up. And now we're going to do ceilings all the way around. This is probably looking a little familiar from the uh, Palmer farm. Basically the same process. That is not where I wanted to put that ceiling. Go all the way. There we go. 
That's beautiful. And then we can pick up this random ceiling that we misplaced. And then we're actually going to be picking up all of these foundations. Now, I don't think the walls are going to collapse. They shouldn't now that they're attached to ceilings, right? Okay, beautiful. And we're going to pick up these walls here, just like so. And then we can either put windows or walls there. We're just going to do walls for now. We can always change it down the line if we want to be able to peer in and see what's happening. Okay, it's looking good. The next thing we need to do is have small walls coming out of these foundations here. So what we're going to have to do is actually place a ceiling above. We'll just grab those and place you all the way across like so. And then we can place a wall down from there, right? We can. Then we're going to place you. And then we're just going to keep doing that. Another wall. Another wall. And one more if we can get it. There we go. I think that looks good. Place our half walls. Just like that. Okay, now hopefully because this wall is attached to this foundation, it'll stay up and we can pick up these other walls. Oh, it did not. Okay. We're going to have to do this a different way. We're going to place ceilings under the ground. Just like that. Beautiful. And now we should be able to just place a wall and it'll be fine. It'll stay there. We can just pick these up and you'll stay there. Okay. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I forgot to do these ones. Okay, now even more amazing. So these little walls are actually going to play an important part when it comes to the efficiency of the farm. But I'll explain that later once we get everything else sorted and set up. Okay, so we set up a little area for the tech parasaurs to sand and breed on. And basically how we're going to be doing this is we're going to have females going across both sides. And then we're going to have the males on the inside here. And they're going to be breeding off of that. So there's no males on this part whatsoever. We've got a bunch of parasaurs growing up at the moment. We just got to wait for them to kind of get fully grown. And then we can get everything into place. And the reason we're using a sloped surface like this roof is I find it helps with the hitboxes and the tails because we have the parasaurs directly across from each other. Things can get a little wacky sometimes if they're on flat ground. And if their tails just point straight down, I find it alleviates a lot of problems. But you can honestly just do it flat if you really wanted to. As long as their butts are over the hole, it does not really matter. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the parasaurs where they need to be. We've got the males on the side. Everyone is doing the do. And we even have the Smilodon in there killing all of the baby parasaurs. So the tech farm is technically done. But I want to make it look a little bit nicer because right now it just looks like a giant cluster of horribleness. So let's go ahead and start with some doorways so we can actually get in and out. We're going to have to be a little quick here. Oh, one escaped. How dare you? Two escaped. Oh, no. They're just free to roam. That's fine. I'm not really going to worry about it too much. And yeah, let's throw some more there. Another one escaped. I don't like these parasaurs. They're rude. They're taking advantage of me. And I think the rest of these, we're just going to do windows like that. Place these in so you can kind of see what's going on. So there we go. Now we get to kind of see and check out the action head in there if we need to if there's any problems but it should be basically self-sufficient let's actually just get in here real quick and let me explain why we have these walls so as you can see by this smilodon killing all these parasaurs some of them are actually going under the map which is not what we want whatsoever so we're not getting resources from them and basically what these walls do is they delay the time between when the eggs hatch and when the smilodon can actually get to them as the Smilodon gets stuck on things and it gives the Parasaurs a little bit more time to grow up and I find that the older the Parasaur is the less likely it's actually going to fall under the map but basically the longer the Parasaur thrives the less likely it will go under the ground when it dies and that's especially true when they hit the juvenile stage I don't see too many juvenile Parasaurs actually go under the map which means even more resources so let's finish making this look halfway decent. Let's throw these half walls in here. Cover up this ugly gap. Just like that. Oh, we actually need a full wall there. We can do that. And what about the other side? That's filled in. Beautiful. 
Okay, and let's head up top. And then maybe put a little bit of glass next to the male parasaurs that are just chilling out here. We'll do one there, maybe. And then if we head in a little bit farther, do one there. How does that look? Is that perfect? Is that flush? Then we can fill in the rest of the walls like so. Just go all the way across. Just like that. And I think we're going to put the stairs on the backside here. We'll maybe do like a triple staircase. Actually, instead of the triple staircase, I'm thinking we just do some foundations like this and then maybe fill out this area a little bit. So we can do that. Something like that. Just go all the way up like so. Does that look a little strange? I actually can't tell. Let's get the other side down. Just like so. And then we'll come around. We'll go all the way up once again. Um, no, I like that. I think that's okay. We maybe have to fill in this backside so it doesn't look so strange. We'll get some more foundations for that. Okay, it's coming together. It's getting thicker and thicker as we go, but that's fine. Now we just need to finish the roof and then fill in the right side here and we'll be done. Okay, I think we are officially done the auto tech farm. I'm really excited. We've got our doorway here to get underneath to refill the generator and do whatever we want down there. We've got that whole wall filled in. Everything's looking pretty decent. And then up top, we've put a ceiling on. I just did flat ceilings. We probably could have done a proper roof because the parasaur heads are sticking through a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's fine. Not a big deal. Let's actually check on our Smilodon. See how he's doing. How many resources do you have? Oh my goodness. He's been doing work in here. 3,500 electronics, 3,700 metal, so much prime. It's absolutely ridiculous. All of the uh, elemental dust and oil. This is working well. I'm happy with this. I'm very, very happy. So I've been watching the Smilodon for a little bit here, you know, just making sure everything is working properly. And I think he might just be a little too big for the space. So I want to head out and maybe tame up some R Dire Wolves. That's what I've used in the past, and it's worked perfectly with this design. We're going to head off and do that and hopefully get lucky. And I'm also thinking when we get back, we are going to craft up some of these amazing chainsaws for the boys. Oh, I see loot. Two green treasures today. It must be our lucky day. An Ascendant Equus Saddle. I will actually take that for our super horse. That's going to be amazing down the line. A spear. Classic. A lasso. Classic. And a Journeyman Scorpion Saddle Blueprint. So not super amazing, but I do like that Equus Saddle. So I'm not going to complain too much. And I think we're just going to head maybe towards these like giant plane areas. If we go straight and then to the left. I believe we saw a lot of R dire wolves there. That's where all those dodics were. So let's actually get a mount. I don't know why I'm on foot. I was just flying and then heard treasure and then started running. Doesn't really make sense. Mounts are quicker. So there's an novice in front of me and I'm so curious to see how much mutton we're actually going to get from this. So let's get off. Let's uh, shoot this thing in the head. Twice. Took two bolts. That's impressive. And take out the chainsaw and just go nuts. Give me all of that mutton. Okay, we passed a thousand. 1300 plus 2700 pelt, basically. And the same with the hide. That is not bad. That is actually not bad whatsoever. I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a big number, and it was. So I'm definitely satisfied. Oh, I spotted another Alpha Rex. What level are you? You're a 102. That is doable. It really is. I'm not sure if we should fight it or we should just woosah. We've been killing a lot of Alphas lately. And I feel like we need to save some for the other guys. We got a Paleo Kentro that's getting absolutely destroyed by a 174 R Direwolf. Okay. That's what we want. 100%. Um, what's going to be the best way to do this? Are they attacking the aloe? They are. Is the aloe going to lose? It is. Okay. Let's get off the 
Carno here. Let's grab the right thing. There we go. We just went down the list. We have all of this meat and stuff here. I think I'm just going to take the pelt. Everything else is pretty easy to come by. We're going to take out Mr. Feet Pick here. Grab a bola. Throw that on the bar. Here we go. And we're just going to go up to it. Bola it. And then hopefully trank it. Oh, wait. Did it die? Oh, no. It's still there. Okay, I was a little worried for a moment. Um, can we aggro it? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, so let's take you out. We'll do a little bit of that. And then we can just start tranking you in the face. This shouldn't be too bad. As long as those rafters just stay over there for the moment. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. There's some more R dire wolves to my right on the hill. So hopefully one of those is a good level. Okay, come on, go out. You know you want to go out. You don't take much. There it is. Okay, one down. We got to clear the area. Let's deal with the raptors first here. Raptors see me, want me, attack me. Okay. Wow, we're actually not doing a lot of damage to them. That's okay, they're weak. Super duper weak. What are the levels like on these guys over here? 66, 72... Okay, we might just kill them. I feel like that's going to be the way. Let's take out the sniper. Do the, the sniping things. Their little pew pew silencer. Okay, one wolf dead. Two wolves dead. Okay. Uh, I just threw off my cat for some reason. I don't know how I did that. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, when you press R when you don't have a weapon out on your mount, you actually throw down your cat. I've just never done that before. Okay. Maybe I should have known that. I do now. We've learned something new. And I don't think those aloes are going to bug us. So let's go ahead and just throw a bunch of kibble on you. I've got superior kibble. And I believe that's what you take. You should be happy with that. Also, before I forget, I'm going to go into here. Go to the taming list and track my tame. I'm going to try and use it more. You guys are absolutely right to question why I wasn't using it last time. It would have helped a huge amount with that cat. We would have known if it actually died or where it went, etc. I appreciate you guys looking out for me. We're learning slowly. It's a process. Ooh, there's actually an R direwolf attacking a... Whatchamacallit? Oh, that's a male! That's a male 174! Okay, um, 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 we need to... Bola you if we can... Gotta hit this. Okay, okay. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, I'm panicking a little bit. That aloe's distracted. That's great. That's a great distraction. Let's just woo saw. Take a moment. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. You're dead. You're dead. Okay. We still get you. Why is there just like a 174 here? I mean, that's incredible. I'm really happy about that because now we have a male and a female. Just making sure those aloes don't come over here. They're pretty far away. We should be okay. Let's go ahead and just start tranking this guy. Shooting him right in the face. We've got this. Taking a deep breath. Just trying to mellow out. No more panic. Woosa. Okay, don't run. Oh, go out, go out, go out, go out. One more? Surely you're out there. One more? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, I miss. Okay, it's running in an okay direction. Now it's gonna go out. 100%. Please go out. Wolf, you're like the craziest wolf in the world. And we keep screwing up. Okay, it's giving us another opportunity. It's coming back. There we go. Finally. Oh, there's a dire bear coming close. No, you don't. You ain't getting anywhere near my wolves. Not happening. Don't even try. Okay, we've got our first dire wolf up. Very exciting. Please have good stats. Come on. Please have good stats. Be a thing. I believe... Wow, I actually love the colors on this thing. 
I'm a big fan. It's got a little orange and a little gray brown, grayish brown. I don't know how to describe that color. But you guys can see it. You understand what I'm saying. So let's pick you up and check out your stats. What are we looking at here? Anything super good? Uh, stamina is really good and weight's really good, but health and melee are not great. Not exactly what I want. Hopefully this male has good health and melee. Oh, we got a battle. A pack of direwolves over here. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Unless one of you is a 180. I hope not. I'm just killing them. 66, 174. Ooh, this is why we check levels. I clearly need to be reminded more because it's not working whatsoever. Just yell at me in the comments. Just check the levels. Just, just yell it at the top of your lungs. Then maybe I'll understand. Okay, we've got our second direwolf up. Absolutely amazing. Tame successful. Beautiful. Let's grab you and please have good melee and good health. That would be great. 40 melee and 40 health. That's actually not bad. I think we're just going to take a quick look around before we head back to the base. See if there's any more decent direwolves and hopefully not kill any more if they are decent. And if we don't find any, then we'll just go back and replace that Smilodon. Maybe breed up a direwolf and get an imprinted one in there. So we can have some good weight and all that. And there's actually a Deinonychus nest here. Are you any good? You're a 24. So no. Not even a little bit. That's unfortunate. I also think I see treasure in front of us. Could this be? Is this our lucky day? Three treasures in one day? It's another green. Um, we got an Ascendant Raptor saddle. Okay, that's not great. A Fiomia saddle. Wow. And some Ascendant and Mastercraft cloth gloves. Um, I guess we'll take both of them. I don't know. That doesn't seem very good. Oh, there's actually another thing of loot right beside me here. Okay. Another green. Ooh, this has some more interesting loot than the last one. We got an Apprentice Club. We got a Journeyman Sword. We got a Journeyman Pteranodon Saddle Blueprint. We got a Mastercraft Hyenodon Meat Pack Blueprint. And we got an Ascendant Hide Shirt Blueprint with some amazing Journeyman Hazard Suit Boots. 246 armor. That is pretty decent. Okay, we've arrived back at the base. Let's go ahead and see how the Smilodon's doing. Are you doing good work in here? You seem to be doing pretty good work. You almost have 3,000 electronics on you again. So I'm happy about that. There's no huge explosion. Everything is fine. Let's go ahead and get these R Direwolves breeding. You guys do the do and poop me out a really good baby. That would be appreciated. And while they do that, I actually want to head inside here and we're going to craft up these chainsaws. Okay, let's throw the blueprint in and make sure we have everything that we need for this craft. We're going to be crafting three of them. We do. Beautiful. And now we need to go ahead and make a potion because there was none in the fridge. So let's just do that. We're going to take the potion. And we are going to pick up our bird. Like so. And then we're going to craft all three and hopefully we get super lucky. Come on, super luck. Let's be a thing here. Uh, oh, okay. That's good. That's good. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Okay. And I'm extremely happy. Wow. Okay. So we got a 29%, a 41%, and a 44. Almost 45. That is crazy. Finally, we got some good luck when crafting some things. I'm very happy about that. So everybody gets a good chainsaw over 500%. Okay, so let's go ahead and give everybody their chainsaw. Axeman is right in front of us, so he can have one first. We'll just throw him that one there. I think Jim and Syntac are in their houses. So maybe we'll just leave them a box with a little bit of gasoline in it. So let's throw one in for Syntac here. And I think we're going to give Jim Bob the big kahuna. He's been absolutely loving the chainsaw. Let's let him have some extra fun. Okay, our direwolf wants its first cuddle. There we go. This is what I was talking about earlier when I said the Smilodon sometimes gets stuck. Maybe it's the window's fault. Maybe it's the Smilodon. I'm actually not too sure. It just really has trouble 
getting out of this position. So we're going to try the dire wolf and hopefully that works. It'll be grown up really soon. And if that doesn't work either, then maybe we'll have to make a couple changes to the farm. Not a big deal. Okay, we may have a little problem. The Smilodon is still stuck. So we need to try and get in here and free it. Maybe use the chainsaw. Get through this. Oh my goodness. I can't even see what's happening. Oh, the lag. Oh, it's a disaster. Can we ride you? Can we get you over here? Okay, now go kill. Kill everybody and everything. That would be great. Our Carno's trying to get involved from the outside. Good luck with that, Carno. Let's maybe get involved ourselves. Let's just go in here with the chainsaw again. Here we go. All of the scrap. Every single bit that we can get. Kill you. We actually got a decent amount from that. Not bad. Okay, we're getting bullied here. I don't even know what's happening. This is the laggiest mess I've ever seen in my life. But the Smilodon has it basically cleaned up, so we should go back to somewhat normal frames now. That was getting a little spicy. Arno, calm down. Just calm down. Do you have anything on you? You do not. Let's just pick you up. All right, our wolf is fully grown, so let's head over there and replace that Smilodon. I think we should be able to get through here. Come on, please, let me. Oh, we're just getting stuck on everything. It's not going well. And we still can't open up this gate. Thank you. Man, that was a buggy mess. I would expect nothing less from Ark. And I think we can just walk in here. We can. We're gonna have to kill all of these aerosaurs. We can. There we go. Because the Smilodon, of course, is not doing his job. Oh, he is. Okay, he's just a little slow. I'm just impatient, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and throw you on aggressive. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and pick you up after we take everything off of you. Wow, you already have 600 of everything, basically. Not too shabby. Okay, so let's see if the dire wolf works a little bit better in here. Let's just pump a bunch of weight to start, and then we'll start pumping a little melee. It should be good to go. I'm hoping it doesn't get stuck like the Smilodon, because I do like the design we've got going on. But you know what, guys? I think that's actually going to be it for this episode. So remember to smash that like button and remember to subscribe if you guys have not already because it seriously helps me out. It really does. I think I'm happy with the progress today. We got the tech farm up and running. We got a nice pair of our dire wolves. And in fact, if you guys have a name for the our dire wolf farming the parasaurs, let me know in the comments below. We definitely need to name it. It's going to be doing a great job in here. So... Also, we crafted up an Ascended Chainsaw for everyone, which I was not expecting to do today. So that's a nice little bonus. But yeah, have a good one. See ya.